everyone today we are going to do another perfume review being the hustler that I am and that you guys know me to be I contacted perfume companies to see if they would be gracious enough to have me join them I guess and old fragrances actually kindly responded and sent me a fragrance of my choice so today we are going to review it and just a disclaimer everything that i say the good the bad and the ugly are going to be my opinions so they didn't tell me to say shit they just sent me stuff already it's like not that big of a deal if you guys haven't heard of alt fragrances it is a perfume company that obviously makes alternative perfumes to niche expensive perfumes like Creed, Tom Ford, or MK Fragrance House. It really helps save bunches of bucks. And the way that they do this is by likely marketing. They don't really have a brand name. They don't put a lot of thought into packaging, not saying the packaging is empty. They also don't have to hire very renowned, expensive perfumers if they're making alternative fragrances. All they have to do is go to perfume places already and not saying that they go to Tom Ford and ask for it. It's like seeing a beautiful art piece in a museum and paying someone to repaint that for you. It's inspired you know what I'm saying so as I said packaging is a big factor I think I said it they sent it to me in an envelope just a bubble wrap envelope and then instead of having a designed box they put it in a velvet jewelry pouch looking thing I think this is actually not only is it a cost drive that was avoided by them it's also environmentally friendly because I will have ways to reuse this unlike a perfume bottled box so I really enjoy that and then the packaging itself is just your basic average perfume bottle it's just a square bottle instead of being engraved or anything it just has a sticker with the brand name the fragrance name and then their website on top of a picture so I don't mind that I have this with my blue fragrances now in my fragrance bin fragrance closet you know you, you saw it it was in my thing I'll probably do a perfume collection soon actually so if you guys want that put it down below I personally like it I think a fragrance doesn't need to have anything else packaging does make a big difference but it's not like they're competing for anything else what they're competing with is to make a cheap version of a fragrance so the way to make it cheaper is to get rid of package designers this bottle is actually one of the most expensive bottles on their website for $45. So it's not like it is expensive, but like, is it? No? I mean, Victoria's Secret, for God's sakes, has perfumes that are 78 and they smell like every single perfume that they come out with and everyone wears them. So $45 ain't shit when it comes to good quality perfumes. As I said, it is also the most expensive fragrance on the website. The most expensive are $45, but they can range from 35 too. If the fragrance that you want is one of their more popular fragrances, those can be like $9 for like five milliliters. So you can sample it as well and see if there is a difference or anything. I chose this one because I wanted something warm. I love warm fragrances. I think warm fragrances smell the best on me, but I also wanted something that was summery and tropical and nice for the summer. This one is a blend of the best of both worlds. This is inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540 and Virgin Island Water. And those are two very expensive perfumes, but they made it for $45. One of the biggest complaints about fragrances is its initial spray, and it can be good or bad. Either people really like the initial spray and it goes awry, or they hate the initial spray and it actually gets better. Essentially, what I'm saying is never judge a perfume by its initial spray. I personally don't think that the initial spray is anything special. It just smells like straight citrus. I have this perfume that I got at Bath & Body Works, but is from C.O. Bigelow and it's just straight lemon it's called lemon and it smells like this 
It's just very citrusy, lemony, everything that Virgin Island water, it's like lemon water. It's nothing special. I was almost like, dang, I'm kind of disappointed with this. But as I just said, never judge a perfume by its initial spray. First rule of perfume collecting, because this one becomes so, so great. It takes everything tropical and citrusy from Virgin Island water and then just makes it warm and inviting with a Baccarat Rouge. It just smells like a clean body. It's everything that I would hope for for a fragrance for the summer and what I've been looking for for a very long time. It's warm and inviting, but it's not cloying like a winter fragrance. Like, as I said in one of my last videos, the fragrance that I reviewed, it would be way too warm and sweet for a daytime summer fragrance. Although it is warm and inviting, it's not something that you feel like you're being suffocated by because you're sweating drops of sugar. I personally going to make this an unboxing video and Temptation kind of won me over and I opened it. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad it did because I sprayed it, I had that citrus overload, and then two hours later, maybe one or two hours later, my friend came over and the moment I hugged him, he was like, wow, you smell really good. Like he doesn't really compliment me that much on my fragrances because because I'm a perfumer, that's my job, I'm supposed to smell good. So whenever I smell good, it's like part of my daily routine, but when I smell really good, that's when people compliment me on how I smell. And I was wearing it for one or two hours already and he smelled it immediately and that was his first reaction to me. It wasn't like, oh, you look great, I miss you or anything, it was, you smell really good, point blank. That's it. It was all because of this. I think that this is a great unisex scent because it has nothing sweet to it. It does have citrus and coconut and sugar and rum in it, but it's not like a girly cocktail. It's more the essence of a tropical beach. And then, as I said with Baccarat Rouge, its notes are like saffron, all the woods and musk. It has a bunch of flowers in it, but it's nothing feminine. It's very unisex anyone can wear it if you're really into sweet candy fragrances I wouldn't really recommend this and if you're only interested in fresh clean fragrances this is also not the best but at the same time if you are interested in very fresh fragrances this might be your nighttime fragrance because it has just enough warmth in it that it could be a nighttime fragrance so keep that in mind as I said with my friend it's very long-lasting as well not only did it last until I hugged him like like an hour or two later considering it's very citrusy after he left two hours later I walked into my house just walking and I got a whiff of it it was like one of those fragrances that really stuck on to my clothes and my body if you're getting into fragrances for the first time collecting fragrances you want to smell really good not just body spray or lotion or deodorant I would honestly recommend this fragrance type it's not going to be the best packaging to be honest, but that's not really anything to complain about. If you're a perfume collector, one great packaging next to another, it all just kind of blends together. And then if you're also starting with perfume, then you also probably don't really care about packaging. So packaging does matter, but if you care more about quality and price, this is the best bet. As I said, the first hit isn't the best. It's not like it's bad, but it's not unique or anything. But once it sits on your body, it is hands down going to be my fragrance for the summer. I've said that about my Juicy perfume, but I feel like this one is just more fitting to my personality. It's very unisex, very bossy. It isn't demanding of attention, but it is like once, once I have it, it's mine, baby. That's it. That's what happened when I hugged my friend. It grabbed his attention and it kept it. Like it kept it so much that he had to say something about it. I would say that if you like very warm fragrances like me, but you're looking for a summer fragrance, this is your safest bet. And if you're looking for a nighttime clean fragrance, this is a great fragrance to have. And the reason why I decided on this fragrance instead of any of the others is because I personally don't know how many of the niche 
sense that they had smell. I wanted to try something that I didn't really have to compare it to anything and it could be its own fragrance house, its own company because I think they did a great job taking two very popular, very expensive fragrances, blending them together and making a cheaper, just as good quality fragrance for literally anyone to wear. So if you guys are wanting to purchase an alt fragrance, then the link is down below and you can either use my code or that's an affiliate link. I don't really know. I'm new to this, so let me live, I guess. And if you liked the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. I hope you guys did and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.